Ah, oh, oh my head. Ah, oh, what did I get up to last night? Wait a minute. Ah, oh, my arm. My leg. Oh, how could this day get any worse? Oh, Blackheart, you're finally awake. Yeah, most of me. Lynx, what happened to my arm? My leg? Well, uh, we, we tried to save them, but those hybrids did quite a number on you. They had to be amputated. So what, I got a hook? You know, this world's full of modern technology. You couldn't spring for a robot arm or something. Yeah, but you're, you're a pirate, so I just I just thought, you know what fit? Yeah, I guess it does kind of complete the look. But on the bright side, you got that big, bushy beard now, huh? Yeah, I guess that is pretty cool. Manly. Pretty impressive for three days. Yeah, you know, I guess you're right. One hand, two hands. What's the difference, I suppose? A hand. Alright, now I thought you were trying to make me feel better. Where are we, anyways? Actually, we're at the Ice King's Castle on Polar Peak. The Ice King's Castle? Doesn't that seem a bit... dangerous, Lynx? Well, he hasn't been here for a while, and we figured it would be the last place he'd look. John Wick has turned it into quite the base of operations. John Wick? Yeah, he's the guy who rescued us. Oh, right. It's all a bit of a blur. Come on, I'll introduce you to him. I have a feeling you two will get along great. Lead the way. <laughs> Look, guys, I, I didn't know. I didn't know. This place is really nice and all, but, uh, you know, I, I wasn't trying to trespass. Who do we have here? Trespassing? Spying more like it. No, I wasn't your, uh, eminence. I was just passing by. Honest. Silence! How dare you intrude on our kingdom? But it was an accident. For your crimes, the king's wrath will take your head. Ashen One. Oh, no, no, no. Any last words? Please don't do this. It was an accident. I'll never come here again. I don't know what you people are doing here. I didn't see anything, please. Go on, silence him. I am the King's Wrath. It is my duty to pass judgment on threats to his kingdom. I'm not a threat. I'm just a noob. Therefore, you will be sent to the dungeons. Thank you, sir, for your mercy. Thank you. It is no mercy. Be gone. One. What was that all about? I told you to silence him. And I have. In the dungeons, his cries will be deafened by the roar of the flame. Hmm. Very well then. There are other matters to attend to. Like the rogue hybrid and his allies. Have you been able to track them down? Or has the mysterious man in black managed to evade you still? He will not evade me for long, Ember. And they will not escape my grasp. I hope so. Soon the Fire King will be back to his full strength. And when he is, he will expect much of his wrath. way. Oh, fancy digs. Oh, what is all this? I'll let John fill you in. That's my cue. Hello, and welcome to John Wick's castle. Right, pleasure, Mr. Wick. I'm Captain Blackheart. Captain, <laughs> That's cute. You stand before King Wick, so go ahead and kneel. You can't be serious. Come on, John, quit fooling around. 
Fine. A crown would totally ruin this hair anyway. It is good to see that you are well, Blackheart. Right. No thanks to your brothers. They are no brothers of mine. Not anymore. Right, right. Sorry. Not fair of me to judge you by your brother. Anyway, what is all this machinery for? I'm glad you asked. You see, over the past few weeks, I've been tracking seismic activity, similar to the tremors felt before the rise of the volcano, right? I'm a man of science and money. Anything that threatens this island threatens me and my business. Anyway, I had a hunch that the lava was spreading, and I was right. My dig sites have revealed that the volcano was just the beginning. Meaning the Fire King is planning something big. The Fire King will not stop until he rules every inch of this island. Right. I wasn't too concerned. But then he sent one of his goons and blew up my house. All this fancy equipment should give us an idea of when he's going to make his move. And look at those. Fluorescent lights only. That way the Fire King can't track us through the flames. Right, well, what about all that lava back there? He cannot see through lava, only flames. So that's why we've got all fluorescent lights here, baby. All right, fair enough. So what's our next move then? Well, we've got a pretty good thing going on here, but uh, four people is not quite enough. Especially now that the two kings have joined forces. We are going up against the biggest challenge any of us has faced. Right, so we need allies. So what we're gonna do is split up and- No, no more splitting up, mate. That's what leads to all these problems. You didn't let me finish. We're gonna split up, but not go to the volcano. Right, we can't risk losing anyone else to the Fire King. Every day the Fire King's army grows in size. If we are not careful, we will be added to it. Well, we'll make sure that doesn't happen. So I'm sure we all have some ideas for who we can gather to join our new mother base here. Just so happens, I have the biggest lead of all. Someone who's not only powerful, but that has an entire army to back us up. The only thing is, she's almost as rich as me, so I might not be able to buy her out. Yeah, well, good luck with that, John. Alright, so, looks like we got a plan. Just remember, the whole island is counting on us. Ah, right, so no pressure. Battlehounds, I'm here to see your boss. The boss doesn't see any visitors without an appointment. I'm John Wick, baby. I don't make appointments. Well, then you don't get in. Now listen here, I own half this island. Yeah, and she owns the other half. So, seems to me, you're evenly matched. So why don't you scoot along? Go on. Let him through. But, uh, boss, you said... Battlehound. Right, right, of course. Go on in. Thanks. Dog. Yeah, whatever. So, you're the infamous Lady Lux. And you're the John Wick. I thought our paths may cross one day. Likewise, your family's wealth nearly rivals my own, though I've heard you earned it through less than scrupulous means. The sins of my father died with him. Rumor has it you're going up against a Fire King. How do you know? I have connections, Mr. Wick, and propping up a big satellite on top of the Ice King's castle is a little on the nose, don't you think? Right. It just so happens that I have my own beef with the King of the Volcano. My men have been keeping tabs on the activity over there. Nothing invasive. Anyways, a few of my scouting parties haven't come back. I know that it's his doing. It's his revenge. Revenge? It's a story for another time. Maybe I'll tell you one day. But I don't quite trust you yet, Mr. Wick. That makes two of us. Tell you what, if I'm going to be working with you, I need to know you're serious. How do I prove that? By taking me on. I hear you're a good shot. Let's put it to the test. Seriously?
You're pretty good. You're not so bad yourself. Well, this is hard for me to admit, but it seems like we're evenly matched. So what do you say? Have I proven myself to you? Yeah, I think you have. Let's do guns down on three. One, two, three. You live up to your reputation, John. Yeah, you better believe it. I see why they call you the Reaper. And I see why they call you Lady Lux. I had you right in my sights, but it seemed like my bullets just kind of whizzed right by you. How do you do that? I'm afraid that's a family secret, John. Fair enough. I have my own secrets too. Let's talk business. 